Hello everyone, welcome to Sunburned Albino does another tier list. We're doing psychic types, as you can tell from the four Pokemon in the four corners of the universe over there. I like the I like this background. I love how this looks. I looked I Google image searched like psychic energy and then like this astrology thing came up. Um Yeah. It's cool. I like it. So we're gonna start. Dude, there's so many. Do you see how many psychic types there are? I didn't know there was that many psychic types. There's that many psychic types. And like, there's tons of psychic legendaries. Which are not gonna get a ton of uh, play for me. Also, this is the Kalos Power Plant theme from X and Y. And I think it's the best song in that game. Which is, and I think it really like fits the mood of like psychic types here. Cause it's kind of mysterious kind of mystical a little bit, even though it's like a power plant theme, but like it's underground, like it has this stuff. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's start with Alolan Raichu. Alolan Raichu, we did him for the electric types. I forget what I put him in. I think I put him in A tier. It's okay, but like, oh, this is psychic, so this is different. So as far as psychic types go, Alolan Raichu is probably B tier. Uh, I might change that later, but for now we're going a tentative B tier. Because I do like Alolan Raichu. I like him better than regular Raichu. And I like him better than... Well, I don't like him better than Pikachu as, like, a Pokemon. I like him better as, like, a battler, for sure. Uh, then we get uh, Alakazam. And, I mean, how do you not put Alakazam in S tier? He's the primo psychic type. He is the psychic type Pokemon. Besides, like, Mewtwo, I guess. Uh, but of, in terms of Generation 1, like, Alakazam is a monster. He was like one of the strongest Pokemon in Gen 1, bar none. So strong. So good. Uh, so very good. And then, you know, he mega evolves and then becomes Spoon Man. Spoon Man, come together with your plan. Uh, so I, I'm not, I'm not gonna rank that. I just, I just think it's funny that like he becomes like uh, he, be, he becomes like a member of a ska band, like grows like a a beard. The only thing that's missing is like a Hawaiian shirt and like khakis. Like if he wore a Hawaiian shirt and khakis, you would see him at the Saturday market going chick 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 you know? So. Um and then we've already seen Slowbro in the water to I it's, as far as psychic, like I'm gonna I'll give him I C tier, because I I really I'm usually not a fan of like really tanky slow people. People. These Pokemon are people. Pokemon are our friends. So, I'm gonna keep him there. And then just, like, where is Slowking now? Alright, he's over there. And I still think Slowking is better than Slowbro, so we just do, like, the BC. That's all. We do the BBC. <laughs> that is a British network, or it's a big black. <clears throat> so we've got Hypno next. And Hypno is D tier. Hypno is, like, scary. Like, he kind of, he's like a pedophile a little bit. Just a little bit. He just has, like, a little pedophilia associated with him. Just enough. Like, he doesn't have genitalia, so I think he's jealous of human children who do have penises. And he's like, you know what? I want yours, and I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to attach it to mine like a strap-on. And then I'm going to, like, have sex with you with that. And, you know, he's, you know, you know standard pedophile stuff. Um, Hypno's D tier, because he's not that good. Like, he's kind of bulky, but I don't, you know... The psychic types should all be, like, so strong in my mind. Like, their special attack should be through the roof. Pretty much regardless of anything. Unless they're physical attackers, like Gallade, uh, for instance. But yeah, like, I mean, like, those mind powers, like, they gotta be strong, man. Uh, then we've got Executor. 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 Executor! I don't remember what he sounds like. Uh, dude, this is one of the weirdest Pokemon ever. Like, you did you, I, you probably didn't even, like, question it when you were a kid. You just saw Executor, you're like, oh, wow, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> you, you look at it now, though, it's like, do you, do you think some of the, like, the newer generations of Pokemon are weird? Look at, this is a palm tree with psychic powers that, ha that all the heads are different coconuts. And it doesn't have any arms, and it just walks towards you like, Executor! Or whatever he sounds like. I mean, I think he's, like, B-tier. I think he's on par with, like, Slowking, you know? He's pretty good. He's got, he's pretty bulky. He's got good defense. Good special attack as well. Pretty slow, but that doesn't make that much difference. Uh, Starmie is A tier. Starmie was A tier in terms of water types, and I think he's still A tier in terms of psychic types. Not as strong as you want him to be, but very fast. Uh, Mr. Mime. 
is fairy type now, as well as psychic. Mr. Mime is probably gonna get an evolution at some point. I can see a Galarian Mr. Mime. Like, I could really see that. Because we didn't get an Alolan one, which was kind of surprising. But, because he's such, like, a iconic, another iconic, like, Gen 1 character, so... I think we might see him get something. He did get fairy type, but he is, like... I mean, you keep all the pedophiles together, you know? Like, where we can see them, where we can keep an eye on them, make sure they're not doing anything wrong. Just keep them in that... Keep them in a pen. All other pedophiles. And then Jinx... Two pedophiles and a Jinx. Jinx is a cougar, so, like, that's kind of the same thing. So she's a female pedophile. They're all... They all just hang out together. They go out for brunch and whatever. Then we have Mewtwo who is, uh... I mean, look, I put him in A tier. I know people will want him in S tier. I put him in A tier because he is good. He's not bad. He's very good, in fact. He's probably the best psychic type legendary. I think he's probably certainly the best psychic type legendary. But uh, it's just, again, like, I don't have super love for legendaries. So, like, I, I put him in A tier. He goes into A tier. His Megas, we pretend they don't exist. Uh, Mew also goes into A tier. Because, uh, you know, you know the rules. I didn't explain them, but you know. I don't know. Uh, you know, Zatu is B tier. Because I wish Zatu was better, because I really like it conceptually. Also, it's funny in, like, Pokemon X to Gale of Darkness when you, like, defeat it, how it just, like, tilts back and forth until it's just like, oh, and then it, like, falls and dies. Like, it's, it's so weird. It's, it's like a totem bird Pokemon or something. You know, it's got that ancient Egypt look about it. It's very cool. You know, it was associated with all the hieroglyphs of, like, the ruins of Alf and everything. That's why they show up there. I do like it. I wish it was a little better. Uh, so it is B tier. But if it was better, it would be A tier. Maybe we'll see Galarian Zatu. That would be some. Uh, it's like dark flying type, and it is. I mean, you can't just like make everything dark type because that's sort of what they usually do with the new forms. It's like, oh, let's make this Pokemon dark type. So, let <laughs> Galarian Espeon is just Umbreon. <laughs> uh, Espeon is S tier. S tier. S tier for Espeon. Espeon tier. So, Espeon has two, has a two-pronged tail, and that doesn't mean anything, but I just wanted to point that out. Also, it has a ruby on its head, and that's adorable. I love its, like, little whiskers, its sideburns. They're so cute. Dude, Espeon is the world's most adorable cat. It's so adorable. And it's so strong! Special attack through the roof! Second favorite evil, uh, evolution behind Glaceon. Although they're like really close. They are very, very close. So Espeon gets S tier. Uh, Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet! Does not sound anything like that. I. Do, do, do. F tier. Yeah. I'm putting them in F tier. Yep. I'm putting them into F tier. The most. Such a perfect Pokemon for Team Rocket. Like. You gotta, you gotta hand it to the people who thought of that. It's like, let's give them Wobbuffet. And they're and everyone's like, what? Why? And they're like, because it's just gonna say Wobbuffet, like, all the time. And it's like, oh, it actually turns out that that's a perfect end to uh, the Team Rocket speech. But, yeah. And it just looks like a Pokemon that would get bullied and just pushed around. Which is so ironic because it, it's so hard to kill and like regular because it just it counters everything it's a counter pokemon it's a counter attacking thing and it's very annoying so i hate it it goes into f tier but in you know what <laughs> okay this is the most dynamic shift from tiers for the same evolution line that there has ever been but why not is s tier because have you looked at Why Not's cute face? Why Not is the embodiment. I explained this uh, in my top 10 favorite Pokemon uh, video that I made a couple years ago, which most of those are still pretty true. 
Why Not is should be like the mascot of Pokemon. It's a fantastic mascot, and it teaches the right lessons to children because you don't attack unless you are attacked first, and you do it with a smile on your face. Like, you just counter back, pay it back double. Like, that's also sort of like a war mentality a little bit. Eye for an eye, how about two eyes for an eye? But, like, if you're, like, smiling cutely while you commit genocide, that's fine. You know, you, people will excuse that. But I think Why Not is S-tier. I love him. He's adorable. Girafferig, uh, C-tier. I, I think Galarian Girafferig is likely. I do. Or an evolution for him, anyway. An evolution and a Galarian type, but, you know, they did that for Lanoon. They did both, so. Uh, Lugia is B-tier. Not as good as Mewtwo, that's for sure. Very special defensively bulky. Uh, kind of a letdown on the offensive department, but so much HP as well. I just, I, I don't like him. I don't like him that much. Also, he just, it reminds me of Whirl Islands, and I hate Whirl Islands. I hate having to get there and, like, figure that out every time, because I don't remember which one you're supposed to go to. Like, it took me, like, 35 minutes on my stream, on my Soul Silver stream, to, like, make it through Whirl Islands. I kept going to the wrong cavern entrances. Uh, Celebi is a tier. Celebi is an example of a fantastic mythical Pokemon. Back when mythical Pokemon used to be cool. That now they just, they're like fan fiction from the developers. But now, or no, but back then Celebi was like, it was well talked about. I was like, ooh, dude, there was hype surrounding it. Celebi, the forest protector? What? I never saw that. How do you see Celebi? You like, it was like, it was a cultural thing. To like have seen Celebi or like know how to see Celebi or just know about Celebi even. So like this was back, you know, and Celebi's adorable. It's very cute. It's a great uh, Pokemon. You know, I am going to put it in S tier. It go Celebi goes into S tier, definitely. For sure. Uh, Gardevoir goes into S tier. Because Gardevoir, Gardevoir is, dude, Gardevoir is the it Pokemon. Like, dude, that it factor, she got it. I mean, look at her strut her stuff in that in that sprite right now. Her flowing dress, or his, this can, Gardevoir can also be male. But we don't want to think about that, do we? No, we do not. No, we do not want to think about that at all. But Gardevoir is very strong. Very good. Amazing Gen 3 Pokemon, definitely. Uh, as far as not Amazing Gen 3 Pokemon go, you've got Metacham, who is D tier, because you have to have pure power for him to be anything. And then back in Gen 3, like, the Psychic type would never uh, be physical anyway, so it was like half his type was useless. Uh, so I didn't like Metacham ever. Um, Grumpig. Grumpig, interesting case. Interesting case, Grumpig, because he's C tier. All right, <laughs> not that interesting then. Lunatone and Sorok are both uh, they're both C tier because they're both cool looking, they're both cool ideas, they're both not that strong. They both have like weird uh, moves they can learn for some reason. Like Lunatone can learn Ice Beam and it's like, excuse me? Solrock, I understand Solrock's fire affinity, it's the sun. But it's still just playing Rock and Psychic type. Um. Yeah, okay, and then we have Claydol, who we basically put in C tier and ground, I think. So, like, Claydol's fine as C tier. Just go through that. Uh, Chimeco is F tier. Why do they make Chimeco? They made Chimeco, and then in Gen 4, rather than make Chimeco anything, they decided to give him a baby form, Chingling, which is admittedly very cute, so it goes into C tier. But, like, Chimeco is. I don't know why it exists, frankly. It's got no purpose. It's it's just one of those Pokemon that's like, why are you here? I was never gonna search for you, and you're not good, and I don't like you, and that's it. So, yeah. Chimeco is F tier. Chingling is C tier, though. It's very cute. I wish Chingling would evolve into something that wasn't Chimeco. It would be super nice. Uh, Metagross, you can't really not put him in S tier. That doesn't even really need to be explained. Uh, we've got Latias and Latios. Latios, you're an A tier. Latias, you're also an A tier. They're pretty much the same. You know, I mean, Latios obviously looks cooler, but Latias is uh, not. There's really, there's really not much of a difference there. That's fine. 
And then you've got like the Mega Latius Latios thing that kind of looks stupid, but we're not doing Megas anyway. Jirachi. Dude, is, they, they like add a new like sort of small mythical psychic type Pokemon like almost every generation now. You, you, I've kind of been paying attention to that. Like Celebi Gen 2, Jirachi Gen 3, Victini Gen 5. Um, I don't know, Cosmog Gen 7, does that really count? Probably not. I mean, it, it evolves into like Lunala or whatever with the, whatever it is, whatever happens. Or, you know, it, it turns into Lun Lunala. I don't know the whole circumstances behind it, but yeah. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Jirachi. Jirachi is... Do we just put them all in S tier? I think we do. I think we put them all in S tier. Which means Victini, we're just gonna skip ahead and put you in S tier also. I think Victini is the best of these three, of this like trilogy of adorable dual type psychic mythical Pokemon. You know, Jirachi is the wish maker, but Victini is the victory star. That means you go win all the time with Victini. It's very nice. And like what, does it, doesn't, it, doesn't his ability give you like plus 10% team accuracy or something like that? I don't remember. Point being, uh, Victini is amazing. Also, he gives you a final smash at Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that's OP. I, I'm just a huge fan of Victini, and I like Jirachi. I, I forgot Jirachi existed, but like looking at him, like I'm like, I should have maintained you on my radar, because you're very adorable. Then we've got Deoxys. I'm not going to rank all your forms. Deoxys D form is the dumbest looking one. This is attack form, I believe. Uh, this is the regular form, and this is the speed form. So, defense form... I don't care. Deoxys, you're gonna go into B tier. Deoxys, one of the only, like, straight-up alien Pokémon uh, with, uh, you know, joining the ranks. Clefairy is only rumored to have come from the moon, so, like, nobody knows that for a fact. Deoxys was, like, definitely met in space, though. And, uh, LGM and, uh, Behem I don't remember if they were definitely met in space, but like, I think, I don't remember if they, I don't know if they proved that. It might be like a Clefairy situation, but I do think that they are definitely from space. So alien Pokemon are cool, oh, but there's not enough of them to justify it. Cause like some people have been like, dude, there should be an alien type. Oh cool, that's gonna affect three Pokemon. Like, no thanks. Um, also what would the type advantages be? Nothing. Like you just, you wouldn't, you don't even need to think about it. Let's see, how about, oh yeah, okay, we're going down. Uh, then we go into Bronzong. Bronzong is, Bronzong just is basically Claydol, but it's a little better than Claydol, I think. A little better, I will put it in B tier. Steel Psychic, you know, you could do like the Gyro Ball action. It knows Earthquake as well. You can give it Zen Headbutt, it could be physical. Heat Proof is a pointless ability for most Pokemon, but it gets Levitate, which is way better. Um, yeah, good for Bronzong, good for Bronzong, you know. Oh, and then Mime Jr., they did the same thing that they did with uh, Chimeco, except that Mr. Mime is actually like a good Pokemon in battle, and uh, Chimeco is not. But we don't need to talk about that. Gallade, I put Gallade as S tier in fighting. Is it S tier in psychic? That remains to be seen. Because there's a lot of S tiers in Psychic. Dude, Psychic's got so many great Pokemon in it. But if we look at like the likes of what's in A tier here, I do think Gallade is, is above like Starmie and stuff. Dude, there's a ridiculous amount of legendary Psychic types. Like, it's almost annoying. And then, oh, and then we'll, let, oh, let's do Uxi, Mesprit, and Azelf right in a row. And Cresselia right in a row while I'm saying that, definitely. Okay. Azelf is A tier. Mesprit is B tier. Uxi is C tier. If we have to rank them in terms of which ones are the best or my favorite, then I say Azelf. Azelf can get like nasty plot. It's like the attacking one. Mesprit is like the balanced one, and Uxi is like the defensive one. So I always like the attacking versions of stuff. Cresselia is C tier. Barely, it barely registers on my radar. I don't care. I don't care about you, Cresselia. You're... I don't, I don't even know what... You're like a dolphin bird. I don't know what's going on with you. Masharna? D tier. So bulky. 
but also, dude, its first move is Hypnosis, and then it doesn't learn an attacking move until, like, what, level, like, 9 or 6 or something? There's absolutely no reason that that should ever be a thing. Why? How, how does any Pokemon survive if it doesn't hatch out of an egg with an attacking move? How do you live? I don't understand. You should be dead. All Masharna and uh, Muna should be extinct. Muna's cute. It's like a little psychic fetus elephant. I do think it's cute, but I'm not going to rank it separately from Masharna. Swoobat? I don't mind Swoobat. Woobat is super annoying, like any bat Pokemon that you would find in a cave. But Swoobat is actually not that bad, especially because, like, you can do simple. You can give him a simple ability, ability, and then you can give him, like, Calm Mind. And then his special attack and special defense both get doubled instantly, which does not make him able to tank most uh, super effective moves, but it can set him up to be, like, really strong eventually, because then you can give him, like, stored power, which uh, does more damage with all the stat changes he accumulates, and that's, like, a really good combo. <laughs> so I do like Swoobat. Um, <laughs> Zen Mode Darmanaton, I guess we do have to... Okay, you go right there. I mean, you can't even move, so, like, I don't care. Well, you, you go right in F tier, you just get comfortable. As soon as you hatch back into a regular Darmanaton, we'll move you back to the S tier and the fire types that we left you at. But otherwise, like, you just stay right there. <laughs> Don't move! <laughs> Alright. Uh, Sigilith? Sigilith? Whatever it is. I mean, I know it's the word, the root word is sigil, which is like a, you know, I, I know how to explain it, but the words aren't coming to me. It's like a sign. Um, or like directions, or I don't know, like a spell casting ritual thing. Sigilith is... B tier, I will put it, like you know, in the same vein as, like, Swoobat. Sigilyph gives hella XP. It's nice to, like... I love Gen 5, uh, like, coming up against one, because they give so much XP. It's really fun. Uh, but they, it's also very strong. It's very intimidating, like, non-evolved Pokemon to run into in the beginning, because its stats are really good in the beginning, compared to, like, other people who are in, like, their mid-stage evolutions or whatever. Uh, Gothitelle is D tier... I don't, I don't like the aesthetic, sorry. She's not that good. She's like Gardevoir's forgotten sister, who like just resented her beautiful, ever-loving spotlight that Gardevoir ever got. You know, like if Gardevoir is Cinderella, you're the ugly stepsister, Gothitelle. And you can tell, like she hates, <laughs> she wants, she wants revenge. Um. Reuniclus is one of those Pokemon that, like, I have almost never gotten to train. Because I believe it was uh, game-specific. I think you could only get it in either black or white. I uh, don't know, remember which one, but it was only one of them. And then Elgium and Behem was the other one. Reuniclus is really, really good. It's very strong. I'm going to put it in A tier, because it actually is very good. It's a very good Pokemon. Not to be trifled with. Behem is also very strong, but in a way that makes me want to put it in B tier instead, I just, I, I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> I couldn't really, like, give you a full explanation on that one. I just, I prefer Reuniclus. Not that you have to compare the two. Like, they're not mutually exclusive, but... Uh, Meloetta is A tier. I have very little experience with her. I definitely prefer her in this form rather than her, like, Relic Song fighting type form. But she's, you know, A tier. <laughs> How about, oh, then we get Delphox. Oh yeah, great. Delphox gets to get brought up in another video. Can't wait for all the lovely comments to come pouring in when I put Delphox in A tier, like I just did. I did it. I did it. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I mean, that's not true. You're gonna do a lot of things, and I'm gonna ignore most of them. Or try to. Uh... How about... Meowstic. And I don't have to defend myself anymore. We did this in the fire thing. We went through the whole song and dance. It's done. I like Delphox. If you don't like Delphox, that's good for you. Uh... Either keep it to yourself, if you're gonna be, like, super vitriolic about it, or say something that's funny. 
and then good for you. Um, Alright, Meowstic. It depends on the Meowstic. I do like the female Meowstic. This is the female Meowstic, the white one. Right? Or is it not? I Oh, I totally forgot. Uh, but the white one is the better one. I like the white one. I will put it in C tier because they, it should be better. This should be a better Pokemon, but it's not. It doesn't have enough uh, special attack. It's not strong enough to be a good battler and like worthy of like a team slot. But I do like it visually. So I will put it in C tier. I will put it in B tier because it's a cat. And I love cats, man. The cat is enough to push it out of like pig territory with Grumpig and like rock random sedimentary I don't know, stuff. Gravel. <laughs> Floating gravel pieces. Floating driveway specks of cement. Um, what's next? Oh, Malamar? Dude, I sort of pioneered Malamar in the competitive scene. Not gonna lie, or not trying to brag. But I dis and it fell off very quickly. But for a while there, nobody knew how to deal with Scarf Malamar with superpower. So, that was cool. You know, when people were still trying to figure out all the Gen 6 Pokemon. Malamar is... B tier. Yeah. It is B tier. Because even if you use it normally, like, it's pretty good. It gets, like, gets, like Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Psychic Dark type. Gets a quad four uh, weakness to bug. But, you know, which means anybody using U-turn on it, you're going to die. But that's fine. It's okay. And now we're into just like a bunch of Pokemon that I, I I don't even know what to say about most of them. Hoopa, never heard of you. Don't know where you came from. This giant whatever this is, this J JoJo's Bizarre Adventure looking thing. Like multi-punch monster. I've never seen that show and I never will. So fight me. Fight me, but like try and hit me with less than 12 punches in half a second because I don't do that shit. That's why I don't watch the show. <laughs> Um, yeah, Hoopa, uh, I don't know where they came from. This is like a ghost psychic type though, I'm pretty sure. And then Lunala is also a ghost psychic type. Regular Hoopa, you're gonna, you're C tier, sure, whatever. Uh, Jojo Unbound, you're D tier. Like, I don't, you're so gross. All these disembodied arms, like, stop it. I don't like that at all. Uh, Psychic Oracorio is not bad, but it's D tier because it's the worst looking Oracorio of all of them. What, uh, Panguru? Is that what this... It can't be called Panguru when there's already a Pangoro. Or can it? I don't remember what this is called, but it's not good. It's D tier. Uh, Bruxish, or Bruxic, whatever it was called. Uh, this is also D tier. I believe I put it in D tier and Water type too. It's just one of those Pokemon that's like, you never given a second thought to this Pokemon, that's for damn sure. Oh, I love trout that have, like, super defined lips. Ooh, that was the only thing Sharpedo was missing with these fat, kissable lips. Like, no thanks. Hmm. Tapu, whatever this is, is, uh, it looks cool. I'm gonna give it C tier. Uh, Cosmog, get in the bag, Nelly, or whatever the name was for the chick. Nef Nefty? Niffy? <laughs> Nebby! That's what it is, right? It was Nebby? Was it Nebby? I don't remember. I haven't played Sun and Moon in a while. Uh, Nebby doesn't get out of the bag. So, it's D tier. But when it does get out of the bag, it turns into Lunala Core, which is F tier. Which... I can't wrap my brain around, like, what's happening with Pokemon anymore. In terms of, like, these weird, like, oh, this is the Nebby form. And then this is the uh, pre-Lunala form, but it's not an evolution, it's just like a, I don't know. And also, Nebby only exists in this form for like five seconds before it turns into L Lunala. And then Lunala is pretty badass. It's pretty badass. It goes into A tier. Ghost Psychic type. It looks like it would be part Flying type, but it's not, I don't think. I think it's Ghost Psychic type. Um... I mean, just like, you know, moonshine down on you. Like, this is Sykes' favorite Pokemon right here. Um, yeah, Lunala's cool. Like, it's a cool-looking thing. And then Solgaleo, or Solgaleo, or Solgaleo, or MKLeo, or whatever it is. 
uh, is also A tier. And they just, you know, they just go right next to each other, and that's fine. We don't have to really give more of a second thought about it. And then we have, this is an Ultra Beast, I assume. I don't know what it's called. I It looks, oh, Necrozma, isn't it? Is Necrozma an Ultra Beast? I thought it were, was Necrozma its own thing. I don't remember. I remember in Ultra Moon, you have to take out Necrozma. I just don't, at the end, but I don't remember if it was like... Yeah. Oh, let me replay that for a second. Okay, so we're almost at the end. This is another, like, close to 30-minute video. Necrozma is... it, Dude, it's got skinny-ass legs. I don't know how it holds up the rest of its body. This dude should be falling over... Like, uh, this dude needs help crossing the street like an elderly old lady. Like, if you see Necrozma trying to put groceries in the back of the trunk, you should lend a helping hand. It's the right thing to do. So you, you go into D tier. And then are the... I've never seen these. Are these like Necrozma fusions? Is this like a Curum scenario again? Um, I like this Lunala one. I think it's on par with like how they look basically. And then Solgaleo is not quite as cool, but it's it's still gonna go. Like, it's all negligible. They're all the same. They're all the same. And then I don't know what the hell this thing is. What is this? What is it? Is that an Ultra Beast? It looks like Rayman, because, like, all of its limbs are, uh, off. They're all detached. Is, are we, where's Batilla the Fairy to, like, give me a power-up? I don't, ooh, OG Rayman references. Because Rayman for PS1 is the only one I've ever played. And that was an amazing game. They should really make them like that again, if you ask me. Ubisoft published that game. That was a long-ass time ago. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what you are. You Oh, now that you're in F tier, I can see you a little more clearly. Oh, are these wings? I just... I can't... I can't see. I can't see it. Dude, I gotta see this. Do I even know what this Pokemon is? Okay, look. For the one time that I'm gonna look up a Pokemon, it's to look up the visual, what it actually is supposed to look like. So please permit me this. Pokedex, National Dex. I'm sure it's Generation 7. It pretty much has to be. So what is it? Zerora, Blacephalon, Cart it's not Cartana, it doesn't look like it. Naya Lego. Lego, my Naya Lego. Where is it? How come it's not here? Is it like a new Pokemon? Dude, I straight up am not seeing it anywhere. What the hell's going on with that? Okay, never mind. I recognize Mel Metal. I was there for with those reveals. I think Meltan's pretty cool, actually. I think it's cute. That's one of the one of those mythical Pokemon that I'm totally okay with. Uh, but otherwise, it's like, dude, I don't know what these Pokemon are. Uh, maybe is it like a different Necrozma form? Dawn Wings. Oh, Ultra Necrozma. There you are. All right. Psychic Dragon, huh? Oh, look at those stats, hot oh, damn. Um, yeah, I still don't like this. It's it's all like washed out, you know? Like, let me get that ad out of here. Like, it's, it's like someone f didn't finish coloring it. That's what it sort of looks like to me. It's barely pronounced. This looks hand-drawn by someone not from the Pokemon Company, is what I'm actually getting at here. I just don't understand what's happening. Uh, yeah, okay, so forget that. Um, yeah, you'll go into F tier. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this tier list. We've got a, lo a load of S tiers. Alakazam, Espeon, Why Not, Celebi, Gardevoir, Metagross, Victini, Jirachi, and Gallade. And then only a few F tiers. Wobbuffet, Chimeco, Zenmo, Dar, uh, Darmanitan, uh, Lunala Core, and Ultra Necrozma. So that's going to do it for the list. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Sumbernamato. And I'll see you guys with the next tier list.